Statistics released by the Fiji Women's Crisis Center reveal an alarming increase in the number of people calling the center to report domestic violence, marital rape and child abuse. In in-depth tonight, Christiana Loy reports that men are also calling the Fiji Women's Crisis Center to seek help. A total of 770 calls have been made to the Fiji Women Crisis Center between the 1st of this month to the 17th. The center's coordinator, Shamima Ali, says that on a typical month, they will receive approximately 60 calls. With the 1560 line, we have received 454 calls from 1st of April to 17th of April, just within the three weeks, and that's huge. Often we'll get about 60 calls a month and so on. Most of the 15, and then, then from our lines, we have had uh, 316 calls. So altogether over 700 calls that we have received within three weeks. That's usually what we get towards the end of the year. For a year, we get about that much, you know, a little bit more than that. So this is really uh, quite um, astounding for us. Ali says that one third of the calls made were for domestic violence and others were for marital rape, child abuse and financial stress. About one third of those are domestic violence uh, calls, uh, either actual violence happening and they are calling us or uh, there is a lot of coercive control. Uh, the woman is not allowed access to her phone. She's not allowed to go and access health services um, and, and so on. And there are also pregnant women in this, you know, so their reproductive health. They're not allowed to go out to, uh, you know, to go to the clinics and things like that. They don't have money to go to the clinics. Um, then we also have marital rape within that. We have attempted rape. We have uh, quite a few child abuse cases. Uh, children, you know, when because the whole um, environment that we have of social isolation, families together, it creates, they are great drivers for uh, violence against women. She is calling for the revival of our Pacific and Fijian way of love, consideration and compassion as we maneuver our way through this pandemic. Look, uh, you know, the virus is something we are still trying to control. We don't know how to, but we're doing our best. You know, everyone is. The police, the uh, the, the, the health services are quite burdened and, and so on. So don't burden them, give them extra burden, but also this is the time for us, you know, the, our Pacific Fijian culture of being kind, of loving each other. Men who are at home, look at what your wife is doing, your spouse, your partner, look at the women in your household, the work they do, put the food on the table, you know, the cleaning and when the children are home from school, looking after them. And, and things like that. So the burden that women carry, and this should create some compassion. So I call upon them to, you know, stop beating them up, stop abusing them. We're all in this together and we look at how we can help each other. Commissioner of Police Brigadier General Sitiven Ngeliho says that people resort to violence because of the stress associated with lockdown measurements. Domestic violence, please control uh, things. We understand the stresses that come uh, with being in confined spaces. It's not uh, something that's only for Fiji. We've looked at our neighbors and they're going through the same thing. You need to control yourselves uh, in this period that we are going through. And we've said it from the start. We will come out and investigate those and take people to task accordingly. The Fiji Women Crisis Center continues to provide support through technology to people needing their support while they await for their personal protective equipment to be able to conduct their center effectively. Christiana Uruai, Fiji One News.